Hello everybody, welcome to the first, but certainly not the last, episode. To my left I have Mr. Albert Diaz of the Financial Round Trip, and I'm Kyrie Navo of the All That Podcast, and today our topic is going to be budgeting. Now, let me just ask y'all a question, right? I just want to jump right into it. How many of us have been in a situation where money is barely cutting expenses or enough for expenses or we're living paycheck to paycheck at the end of the month we paid all our bills we only have thirty dollars in our account and we're like where is all my money going let me just raise my hand because i've been in that situation probably still a little bit in that situation while i'm learning um you can oh yeah oh yeah definitely i've been in that situation and let me share a little bit of scary statistics Uh-oh, here. Oh, we got some scary stats. It's like when you Google, um, you know, when you're sick and you when Google. When you Google your name? Or, no, 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 good stuff pop up in there. No, when you're sick and you Google, you know, your sickness and you're like, okay, I'm about to die. Because all the stuff is like scary. Be prepared to be scared in a good way. In a good way, exactly. <laughs> so uh, what we find out is that 75% of all U.S. full-time workers, they leave paycheck to paycheck. 75 percent exactly 71 percent it is in the 56 they believe that it is out of their head they cannot control it right and those 56 they also say that they can they save less than a hundred dollars per month that's crazy it is it is crazy also it is irrelevant how much money you make because this includes people that are making six figures and six figures i'm saying just barely making it to the six figures up to nine hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars per year that's crazy because when we think of people who make six figures we're like oh they got money they got to figure it figured out they got a nice house they're well the more that you make the more money you spend and, and i believe uh, that's that's the reason behind we will spend more than what we make and that's the the main reason why all these statistics are so scary we live in a world that we basically spend more money than what we make so it is irrelevant how much money you guys make. Right. Scary stats. But you should be encouraged by this simple fact that you're not the only person in this situation. Like he just said with the stats is that 75% of full-time workers are living paycheck to paycheck. So guys, you are not the only person that's head just above water, as they said in the... Um, good times exactly. <laughs> uh, theme song you know you're not the only person like that it, you know it's, it's a lot of other people in the same situation so now that we gave you that information let's talk about how we can how can we take control of our money how can we get out of that 75 71 56 percent people that's in debt feel like they can't get out how can we start to take control of our money well i will start with it starts with yourself you really would like to be the person that is going to break all those statistics. You would mm-hmm. like to do it for what? For your family, for a trade, for savings, for retirement. You have to do it. Right. You have to need to have the will to go and take control of your money. So for somebody who says, okay, I hear you, Albert, but how can I start? Like, okay, I'm ready. Like, I'm ready. In my in my heart, in my mind, I'm ready to start taking control of my finances. But how do I start? What can I do to get me to that point? You can do it on your own. You mm-hmm. can start creating a budget on your own. I always strongly recommend that you go and visit a financial advisor. That's the best alternative that's the best way that's the professional way to do it right. you have to make it a habit of getting financially check up mm-hmm. once a year same as if you go to the doctor right same thing same thing exactly same thing. you you gotta go to the doctor the doctor will do a full-blown analysis and he's going to give you a prescription for whatever hurts for you it's the same with a financial analysis you need to have it uh, if you haven't done one, mm-hmm. you can reach out to us. We'll help you find a great financial advisor for you anywhere in the United States. And, but also, you have to do it on your own. You mm-hmm. have to create that habit of taking control of your money by using a budget. Right. Budget. The topic of this podcast. So, how do we start a budget? <laughs> how do we start a budget? <laughs> how do we start 
a budget um, efficiently, I should say. How do we get there to that point where we can start a budget? Where did, you know, there's a lot of people like, it's like working out. Um, where do we start? Show up to the gym. Show up that's, to the gym. Yeah, that's, that's the main, that's the main thing. thing. Right, that's the main Show thing. Show up to the gym. Then, you know, the rest will take care of itself. So can you, can you tell us what is this version of showing up to the gym? Well, everybody can show up to, it, to the gym. Right. Everybody can create a budget. Mm -hmm. You can start writing down all your expenses, everything that you spend your money in, all, all the money you, that you receive from your paycheck, from your business, it doesn't matter. But the reason why it doesn't work is because people do not understand that there are three main reasons it will fail. Three main reasons, listen carefully, these are important. So one mm -hmm. of those is proper planning, mm -hmm. that's what we advise. Go and visit a financial advisor, consultant. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second one is stick to the plan. That goes along stick with habits. The plan. Exactly. <laughs> and the third one is tracking your budget. Right. So, the first one you mentioned is proper planning. Um, that's something that everybody struggles with, not just in the case of budgeting, but in life, period, and planning. So, one of the most important things that people don't plan for <laughs> is unexpected circumstances or unexpected situations Definitely. um and we don't plan our money or budget our money around having an emergency or 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 something unforeseen so we should create a emergency fund you should you definitely should have an emergency fund definitely can you expound on that well you always have to pay yourself first you have to pay yourself for retirement for savings and for that emergency fund. What's that emergency fund. I want to stop you right quick because that's a very foreign way of thinking, paying yourself first. Because when most people get paid, we feel like, okay, I'm going to pay my bills. I'm going to pay for my kids, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to pay for this. Then whatever money I have left over, I'll put into myself. Yeah, that's wrong. You're the most important that's person backwards. here. You and your family. Mm -hmm. So you always have to take care of you first. Right. And then everything else. Uh, but of course, in a way that your money is well allocated into mm -hmm. all these different buckets that I would like to explain. Right. One of the buckets is pay yourself first for that emergency fund, for that savings, for that retirement. Mm -hmm. You have another bucket for your living expenses, and that includes your mortgage, rent, mm -hmm. uh, your gasoline to go to work, your groceries, everything that you need in a daily basis for you to right. survive. And a second bucket or the third one in this case it will be your discretionary activities right what would that be it's whatever you do in leisure time you know exactly. entertainment going out for a drink you know buying a new outfit or a new golf club or whatever <laughs> it is that you want that's let's just make it clear that we're not like sitting here telling you that you have to stay in the house you have to uh, eat you know cheap food or you have to no we're saying just you have to properly plan for leisure like but we're not telling you to just be a boring person and that you can't do things just plan for it so that's what normally the majority of your expenses well in my case they go mm -hmm. go and eat outside go and have fun right it, it is uh it is where my lakes are right in in months to months so what I found interesting is that, and actually we were talking about this a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. how do you stick to that kind of plan for your leisure? Right. I'll say, let's start using cash. So you're at the gym, right? <laughs> Just going back to the gym reference. Okay. You're at the gym. You've, you've got a plan, a workout plan. How do we stick to that workout plan? Stick to that plan. Be um, dedicated to working out. Um, and you were saying one way to stick to your plan is to carry cash. And I thought that was very a very great point because I never carry cash and I often overspend because of it. So can you tell me why you think that carrying cash is such a um, an impactful way to not overspend? It will be impactful in your mainly your discretionary expenses. Okay. It will be hard for you to carry cash so you pay your mortgage, your rent, your car, etc. Right. For, exactly. <laughs> but for your discretionary, let's say uh, you budget $400 a month mm -hmm. for fun. 
everything that you want. So then carry hundred dollars, carry one hundred dollar every week. Mm -hmm. You are going to see that that money start depleting. That money start breaking down into from a hundred dollar bill to twenty, right. to tens, to fives, to ones. It does something to you when you can see it leaving, oh. opposed to you know you have your car and you're just swiping, swipe. You can't actually see it leaving because you can avoid checking your bank account. Exactly, right. it's, it's <laughs> just you're just facing reality. Right. You're facing reality, and it's the best way to you to create conscience about how much money you're spending. Right. Another thing we talked about as a way to stick to the plan is remembering why you did something in the first place, why you decided that you wanted to start a budget in the first place. And that's something that you can apply to every area of your life, uh, whether it's your relationship, you know, if something's getting difficult, why did I love this person in the first place? Whether it's going back to working out, working out, like why did I feel like this fitness journey was so important to me i wanted to lose weight that's the reason why let's get back to that you know i wanted to feel better about myself i wanted to yada 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 so remembering why you did something is one of the most effective ways to stick to it so a little but, tip on that mm -hmm. for remember is write it down if you don't write it down it is not real get you some dry erase boards albert and i he has a dry erase board. I have dry erase boards, and we just write. And once you, I'm pretty sure when you come to your office and you you see those, like it's constant reminders. Like I come in here, I'm looking. Okay, this is what I need to do. This is blah blah blah. It's there. It's constant. It's there. Yeah. You write it's it tracking. down. Track your performance. Right. Right. So just if you started your budget because you wanted to take your family for a trip, mm -hmm. put it down. Write it down and put it in the refrigerator so that you're taking. I, you're being accountable for that. Your mm -hmm. wife will see, okay, we're doing great. You will see you're doing great. You will mm -hmm. show them that you're leading. Write it down and share it and track your performance. That's a great That's a great way. That's the best way that I can find it for you to remembering to stick to your plan. Visualization, guys. Visualization. And guys. now that you mentioned that, mm -hmm. that leads to the third point that we mentioned, okay. which is tracking. Tracking your budget. And now that you like to talk about gym, mm -hmm. how are you going to make reference for, to tracking? To tracking? Um, tracking, as, as far as the gym reference can go, like, you know, you having to watch, <laughs> you're tracking, you know, how many steps you take or how many calories you're taking in. You're just tracking your progress or you're weighing yourself every week. See your progress um, or see where you're at or what you're not doing. And so... Um, when it comes to your finances, there are ways to track down, and I know you were uh, track your finances, and I know you were saying that still probably at least to start off, still the most effective way to track is to write it down. That's the best way to start creating right. your budget is write it down, right? Hand, pen and paper, mm -hmm. or a spreadsheet. Right. It doesn't matter. Just create it. When you write it down, again, mm -hmm. you're facing reality. You right. are telling yourself, oh my God, I'm spending this much money right. in X, Y, C, in this category, in this order. Mm -hmm. I'm committed to spend this much money on leisure time, on going mm -hmm. out, on happy hours, etc. Write it down. That's the best way. Now, you have to use technology because it makes your life easier. Right. Some people are watching this like, okay, I don't want to write. I don't want to do an Excel, Excel spreadsheet in 2018. Exactly. <laughs> like, what can I do? What can I use? I'm pretty sure that's an app. There's an app for everything. So I know you had two apps that you really like for tracking your budget. What were those? One of those applications is Mint, M-I-N-T, and the other one is Clarity Money. Uh, they're free, they create a budget for you automatically, you can tweak it whenever you want, mm -hmm. they provide a lot of insight, uh, free credit scores as well, uh, mm -hmm. categorize your expenses, you can move them around because sometimes it doesn't uh, track them accurately, mm -hmm. but then after you set them all up, it just runs automatically. Wow. That's Easy. the best way to track it. Easy. Easy. Wow. Huh. On top of that, I will add you have to create a habit to check them. Mm -hmm. You have to daily check your application. And Carrie and I were talking mm -hmm. uh, precisely about that mm -hmm. when it was the last week. It was like, hey, why don't you create the habit of checking your budget the same way that you are checking your social media? Right. <laughs> How just, do a you check? just a fraction of 
how much you check your social media, really. Do you know that people mm -hmm. spend an average of 137 minutes per day checking social media? A day. And all you really need to spend on this... Five minutes. On clarity or mint is five minutes. Five minutes. All you five just need to minutes. check is how is your money performing? How is your money right. moving around? Right. So if you can spend a hundred and how many? 37 minutes. 37 minutes a day marveling on Instagram at celebrities, nice things, <laughs> and how they're budgeting their money, <laughs> spending their money, you can at least go on Mint or Clarity Money and, you know, check your finances and, 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 and see how you can get to that point, you know, if possible. So, um, okay, so we tracked our budget. We learned how to, well, let me go in order. We learn how to properly plan. Yes. We learn how to stick to our plan. Correct. And we learn how to track our budget so we can keep up with our plan. <laughs> so that's the three things that we've learned. And we, hopefully we have um, shown you guys or give you some insight on how to create your budget. Because we don't want to keep you too long. Because right after this video, we want you guys to start your budget right now. Write it down if you haven't already. Um, Comment with us. Let us know yeah. what are your techniques. Let us know what right. do you use. What else it, it, it helps you to get mm -hmm. yourself into the habit, into the tracking mode. Uh, what are your goals? Right. All that. Also, this is what we're gonna do. You ready for this? Tell me. The first ten people that we see like, share, comment on this video, this podcast, we're giving away ten free. Financial analysis. Ten free financial analysis. Free. Everybody loves free. Free. Financial analysis. Nice. Bam. So get on that. And get your financial analysis, you know, and let's get this thing rolling, man. Let's get let's be financially free. Let's do it. Why not start today? Great. Well, thank you everybody for checking our episode. Uh, please like, share, and stay tuned for the next time. And budget. <laughs> Write it down. And budget. <laughs> Stick to the plan. Great. <laughs> Proper <See>. plan. <laughs> Track your budget. See so you guys. Keep up with the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> <laughs> <All right>. Peace. <laughs>